Uh, day two of Her Royal Highness Princess Anne's visit to South Africa started with a courtesy call on uh, Mohlanti, the Deputy President of South Africa. Uh, that lasted for about 40 minutes. After that meeting, the, the Princess and her husband attended a celebratory church service in recognition of Her Majesty the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. We had some 600 guests attend the St Albans Cathedral in Pretoria. After that, Her, uh, Her Royal Highness and the party then moved to Cape Town where the High Commissioner hosted uh, an official dinner at her residence in Bishop's Court. Day three was focused on Cape Town and started with a visit to Simonstown Naval Base where Her Royal Highness was greeted by the head of the South African Navy, inspected a Guard of Honour. Uh, from there she moved to a sailing school um, where she watched children battling with the very windy conditions in Cape Town to show her their uh, very developed sailing skills. From there they visited the Dido Valley Commonwealth War Grave and Cemetery and then afterwards they called and saw a recently refurbished grave of the Duke of Edinburgh's former nanny who is sadly buried just outside Cape Town. From there the party moved to Kailicha which is a township on the outskirts of Cape Town where the princess started a 100 meter sprint race on 100 days to go to London's 2012 Olympics. The school chosen uh, because of its link to the British Council's International Inspiration Project, which is of course the key legacy program for the London 2012 Games. From there, we've come to uh, Cape Town's International Airport and the princess and the royal party have just now left South Africa on their way to Mozambique.